Hello and welcome to another DocuWare how-to video presented by Mike and Technologies, a DocuWare Platinum partner and Diamond Club member located in St. Louis, Missouri. Today I'm going to show you how to create a stamp within DocuWare version 6.12. To do this we will need to access the DocuWare administration thick client tool. I believe this is going away in DocuWare version 7.0, so this video will apply to version 6.12 and under. Um, so stamps are basically annotations which are added as an overlay. They are able to modify an index field of a document in a DocuWare file cabinet's database table. If you have established an additional database connection, you are able to modify that external database as well. We will only be working with stamps that modify the DocuWare database in this exercise. DocuWare has two options for stamps, public stamps and personal stamps. Personal stamps are assigned to one person only. The user who will use them creates the stamp. An admin cannot create a personal stamp for another user unless he logs in with the user's credentials. Public stamps are available to anyone who has been granted rights to use the stamp. We start this exercise by making a public stamp. Open the document administration and expand the organization branch by clicking on the arrow. Now let's go down to general. You'll see we have stamps here. If I break this down, we have public and personal stamps. Here are my public stamps. For this exercise, I'm going to create a reject stamp. So the first thing we want to do is right click on public stamps, click on create new stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and call this reject. My display name will also be reject. I'm going to set my stamp color to red. This is going to be a text stamp, not a bitmap. No password required for this stamp. For my file cabinet, I'm going to go to my accounting demo file cabinet. And then I want to check use stamp only with this file cabinet for this exercise. I'm not using a signature, so click next. I want to include a frame around the stamp. I want to create I want to include the username and the date. If you want to modify your font, click on that button there. Here are your font options, your font styles, and your size. So if I want to do bold, I can do bold. I can increase this to 10, and uh, I'm going to keep it at Microsoft Sans for now. Click OK. Click Next. So because we are creating a text stamp, we need to put in the text we want on the stamp. This is done on the Stamp Design text stamp page here. So enter Reject. I'm going to hit shift enter next line I'm going to enter in my reason here we enter in our field it's that button down there hit next there's our field this label is going to be called reason go to next I'm going to use my document status index field. I'm going to fill it with a fixed entry of reject. When the stamp is applied, the status field will be changed to reject from the current entry. Let's go to next. Here we assign profiles. Since this is the accounting demo file cabinet, I'm going to bring over my accounting departments. Next. Um, assign access to rights to a defined stamp for selected users. Um, let's just bring in admin and then finish. And as you can see, there's our new stamp right there. You have additional options here for your stamp. So this is all going to be according to how your organizations run here. Um, your store stamp store automatically after two seconds is set up by default. Uh, just an FYI that that's over there. Here we can change our color. Um, so once you create the stamp, it's you still have very flexible options for how you want that stamp to look and who you want it assigned to. And that is how you create a public stamp within Docuer version 6.12. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us directly via the phone number or the email address. In, you the email address listed in the description box below this video.